Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. This is Terry. Hey, today we're on a project on our 78 King Cobra. And uh, actually this is kind of a project for the project. We're actually swapping over to the uh, dual, con the contour, Ford Contour dual electric fans uh, from the mechanical fan that's on it now. And uh, one thing that has to happen in that, for that to be done is uh, we have to upgrade the alternator. Uh, really a, a good idea to upgrade the alternator anyway. So we'll be going from the old style 1G to the newer style 3G alternator. This is a 130 amp alternator. And uh, it's actually a pretty simple deal. Uh, and we're gonna document everything so everybody can see, but I'm, I'm hoping anyway, it appears that it's gonna be a pretty simple deal. We'll, we'll see how it goes. but. Uh, one thing that we have to do here is the original voltage regulator is going to be eliminated and uh, a place called PA Performance, I got this from CJ Pony Parts, uh, has this little, it, it looks like a voltage regulator, but it's not. Um, I, I really want to maintain the uh, more of an OE factory look under the hood of this car, even though it's got a lot of stuff that's not factory. Um, but I, I just, I like that vibe on this car and, and I'm trying to stick with that. So. If you, you can convert over the alternator and I think there's maybe some way to rewire and make this happen, but if, if you convert over to this alternator, you don't do anything, then the amp gauge in the dash is not going to work and the battery light's going to be on, or at least that's my understanding. So with this little box, uh, basically you're just going to unplug the factory one, plug this one back up or, and, uh, that this is going to allow the, the gauge to work and the battery light to be off. Uh, there's also a, uh, a pigtail here. The 3G has its own has its own plug here, of course. So there's a pigtail here that they send with this, so you can adapt everything here. And there's instructions on how to wire it and all that. Um, obviously, the serpentine pulley is not going to work, so we'll be transferring the pulley off of our uh, 1G alternator we have now onto this. Uh, also, uh, th this was Amazon. As usual, I have uh, I have links down in the uh, in the show notes here uh, where all this came from. So. Uh, We'll be wiring up with some four gauge wire and uh, I bought this made up wire with two lugs already on it uh, on Amazon's four gauge uh, and uh, we'll be cutting this and putting a couple more lugs on there which we have here I'll, I'll, if I can get them also from Amazon and I'll, I'll show how how I do that and it, maybe you do it some other way but uh, show you how I do it and then we'll be adding the uh, mega fuse holder and uh, 200 amp mega fuse here just to make for sure if there was ever any catastrophic catastrophic failure that it'll blow the fuse and not damage anything else so um, let, let's move over to the car and I, I'm going to show you what's how, how everything's set up now and then uh, once we do that we'll get on with the install all right here we are at our Mustang and uh, this is the location of the the factory voltage regulator so We'll be removing this brand new voltage regulator <laughs> and uh, putting our PA performance one on there. I, I've heard people talk about, and what I've read on some of these conversions, that uh, maybe we would need to re-clock the 3G alternator to a different position from the front of the case to the back of the case, but I, I, don't, I don't think we're going to have to do that here, but we'll, we'll see whenever we get it on there. And then, uh, like I said, we'll be adding our mega fuse over here and... Uh, wiring uh, directly up to the uh, starter solenoid right there so all right our our install is done and i uh, just wanted to come back and just kind of give an overview of all that to start off with and then uh, we'll, we'll reset and uh, go through some of the steps and i'll throw up a bunch of stills that uh, kind of document the process here so most of this is really hard to see because these cars are there's a, not a lot of room in these cars and i i one thing that i've talked about earlier that I wanted to really do was preserve something so it looked factory I, I don't it's not original um, there, I mean all of you original people will see that there's a lot of original stuff under this hood but there's a lot of stuff that's not too uh, the master cylinder AC compressor AC lines all you know a lot of different stuff that's an aluminum KKS radiator and such as that but you know just being able to just put this I guess for lack of a better term, a fake voltage regulator from PA Performance that just looks like it, you know, supposed to be there. So that works well. Uh, amp gauge works. Everything, everything works well. 
the alternator I mean literally no issues whatsoever here that's the same spacer didn't change anything uh, we'll go over the pulley stuff here in just a minute more but just a super simple swap of just taking the pulley off the old alternator taking the pulley off the new alternator putting it back on the v-belt pulley on with the spacer that came off the other alternator uh, there was one just kind of an odd deal it's really hard to see in there but um, the foot on the original 1g alternator was threaded for a 3 8 bolt and this one is not uh, it's just got a through hole so uh, just a I just put a bolt in a with washers and a nylock on there. Um, like I said our you can see our wiring down in there. I'll, I'll def, I got a bunch of stills of the wiring, so I'll I'll put that up sir, up there so you can see better. And I decided to put the uh, mega fuse down here. I don't know how well we can see it, but I got it on the just put it on the uh, cooling duct for the for the battery and. Uh, one thing I like about the Mega Fuse holders is there's some little windows there. You can see that one's not cut out, and this one is. So there's some little windows there that you can actually um, cut out and then send the wire out at 90 degrees instead of going straight in the end like that. And obviously that worked out much better for this. Um, got all the wiring tidied up, everything in uh, back in loom, and everything right here all done. You can move around here and see if you can. See how this is a little bit better, but there's the run coming out of the mega fuse, mega fuse holder, and just up to the starter solenoid. So really happy with all, with how all that turned out and and how it looks. Seems to work perfectly. Um, I, I know as I researched this, I saw a bunch of people asking this question, but I don't think there's going to be an issue at all with just the V belt uh, power in this. I I don't. A lot of people talked about it and said they didn't. So. So let me reset and we'll kind of go over some of the tools and such um, over some of the procedures and I'll throw up a bunch of stills to uh, hopefully help with uh, making this as simple as possible. All right, y'all, let's wrap this up. So uh, really a pretty simple install. And uh, like I said over there, it took me a couple hours, but um, I was just taking my time and just trying to figure out where to put stuff on this car as much as anything. So. Let's go over a little bit of stuff here. So I did have to make up these cables and uh, with four gauge wire, I mean, you can't, I mean, they gotta be crimped. Uh, the lugs have to be crimped. So what I use is the, I've had this for years. I actually bought it when I was making cables for the, um, the shock therapy dragster, electric powered dragster. And I've used it and used it and used it. So super handy, not, not really much from Har uh, Dollar Wise from Harbor Freight. It's worked perfect ever since I've had it. Just their uh, Centro Pneumatics hydraulic wire crimper, and that works great. Uh, you can also buy um, a crimper that you can you just put the lug in in a little thing and smack it with a hammer. Those, those actually work okay too, much cheaper. So um, I'll put some links down below, like I said earlier. Uh, the instructions from PA Performance, spot on. Uh, really simple stuff going on there. Uh, I'll throw some stills up here in just a second, but uh, to show the original uh, 1G wiring and uh, basically you got three wires going on and you got the stator wire, it's white. It's not going to be used anymore, so I literally just cut the wire off up in the, uh, farther up in the harness and taped it up up there. It will have voltage on it, so you, you can't leave it loose, but just tape it up and, and you're not going to use that anymore. The red field wire actually gets attached to the extra green wire there's only one wire that doesn't plug into the alternator the the three pin the three wire plug on the that comes with the pa performance kit the yellow wire goes to b plus the um i believe it's a white wire with a black stripe is getting plugged into the stator control on the alternator itself and then the green wire is actually getting uh, connected to this the red field wire that's that's in the existing and i'll put those up for you right now so first first we'll have the 1g wiring and i've got it i've got that i've got that marked with the colors of where it goes the the red is gonna go to the where i have circled in red in the next one so i'll throw that that's still up okay now this 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 still actually shows the alternator wired 
uh, with the 3G plug from PA Performance and uh, you can see the green wire there. Like I said, that's just that just needs to get spliced into that red field wire. And that's as much wiring as there is uh, for that part of the alternator. Now the um, it says you can use a six gauge or a four gauge wire. It would have probably been fine with the six, but I, I just decided to put the four gauge on there. And I use the Megafuse holder uh, that I just showed you down on the uh, on the battery duct. And uh, if you're not familiar with these, that this is this is a Megafuse. Uh, use them uh, a lot. Focus on that, but I used it a lot in the solar uh, project on the Momentum toy hauler, and uh, they, they're just really a heavy-duty deal for this. Uh, Amazon, all, all this on Amazon. Uh, like I said, a little holder here, and basically you just everything just bolts on there. That you put put your lugs in here, and like I talked about before, you can see how this is actually really made for it to come out of the ends. But you also have these little windows on the side, if you can see that. So you can just cut out these windows and it'll go out the side. So I really think this is the way to go, especially with something that is this much amperage. Uh, it's, like I said, the alternator is 130 amp, but the recommendation is to put a 200 amp fuse on it. Um, so we just bought the 200 amp mega fuses. Uh, all in all, I'm really happy with the conversion. Um, uh, as I said earlier, we're actually going to the Contour, the Ford Contour dual fan, dual electric fan setup. That's really the reason for changing to the alternator here, so we got enough power to run that, to run those fans. So if you're doing stereo, or you're doing whatever, or you just want to upgrade the electrical to something more modern, I mean, this is obviously you saw from me talking to, and from me talking about it earlier that I mean it's an original looking setup. I mean it is a Ford alternator, all that deal. So a very original looking setup and I like it very much. So uh, hey, leave, leave me some comments below. If you got any questions, I'll try to answer them. But uh, basically a really straightforward uh, install and I think a great upgrade for anybody's older Ford um, to get away from the 1G alternator or something that's got a little more modern power to it. So appreciate, appreciate you watching. Until next time, have a great one. We'll see you soon.